Hello various Tamrielic races, I'm Xenocraft1212 back with another Skyrim mod showcase video. This time we are doing Fenrir Blades by Billy Rowe and Jane Crane. You can find this on the Skyrim Nexus and just ignore the cat. And it adds three swords. The long sword, the great sword, and the short sword. Now they can be found at this shrine and Let's put that flames away. Ooh, the glow is really good. I approve already. Flames is in magic. I know how to Skyrim. Ooh, so the sword itself is a 4K texture. It is full 4K. The... Yeah, just let me read down through the description here. I believe it's the sheath is 2K. Now the scabbard is 3k, so the sheath is 3k. I really need to get out of here. Let's leave the snow. So the reason I am over here is because on a hill right above Sarthal, which is that place down there, it is important for the Mages Guild. That's how you begin it. The College of Winterhold, I mean. Just come up this direction. You'll find the shrine where you can pick up the sword, as I just did. Now let's get out of this blizzard into a prettier looking place. Such as, sure, let's go to the site of one of my previous mod videos. I mean, why not? It's a really pretty place, if I can get there. So, you have to smelt down the original longsword you find to get an ingot, which you can use to make either the great sword or the short sword, if I understand it correctly. And it is nighttime, that's great. Let's just stand here in the dark for 12 hours because normal people do that, of course. Now, the description says it has four matching blades. Oh, and a dagger. A dagger, short sword, long sword, and great sword. Then it explains how to acquire the long sword, as I just did. Now we can get a good look at this here in the bright sunshine of the rift. Ah, oh, it's really good. You can see, like, the differing layers of steel on the blade, the inner layer for like bending and compressing to impact, and the layer on the edge of the blade for holding its sharpness. Also, there's lines through it. It's so good and so realistic looking too. To give it its full glory, let's go into toggle free camera here and see if I can get up and close to it. Oh, it's not the sunshine very well. But as you can see, even in the shade, when it's not reflecting beautifully, it's just so high detail. And hopefully it'll be in the sun over here, and it's not. Okay, that's interesting, because it's in the sun from this point of view. Where is the sun? Is it straight up? Yeah, I'm so good at this, I don't even know where the sun is. I think it's... Oh, it's right there. Dirt to dirt. You did not hear me just say dirt to dirt. Anyways, so maybe now we'll be able to see the reflection. Nope, my wings are in the way. Come on. Whatever. This is good enough. Well, I could drop it on the ground and then look at it that way, I guess, too. And it does not glitch when you drop it on the ground like some weapon mods are known to do. Pick it up. Fairly light, you know. And when it swings down, you can just see the detail. And the reflections, the different layers of steel. This is a really good sword, in my opinion. Maybe now the toggle free camera will be able to actually show it glistening in the sun. I'm going to go to settings and turn off the HUD so we can take full appreciation of this beautiful weapon. Now, I personally think that the one I would use the most is the great sword. Wow, it has little scratches. Has a tiny no never mind it's not a fuller but it has a ridge going down it look how terrible the wood texture is which is 720p if I am correct and then there's the sword just puts that wood grain to shame shame wow this is the first 4k weapon mod I've played with so I am just appreciating this as long as possible here Let's pick it back up. 
So now I'm curious how to turn it into the greatsword and such. My first impression was that it would be a little too fat, which I am still kind of holding by, but the beautifulness just kind of fixes that problem. So it says, you can convert into a fenner ingot at any forge, so not a small tree. I'm not sure if this island has a forge. It should. I bet it just has an anvil somewhere. This is Everfall Island, by the way, if you're curious. I made a video on it by itself. And now I'm exploring it again, looking for forge. So I do not remember where to find the forge. Oh, here's smithing supplies. There it is. So I'm not sure what it would be in. The de mod description does not say. Misk, possibly. Fenrir ingot. Yes. And as you see, it takes the longsword and kills it. Now, I'm hoping that the other Fenrir swords will be in here, and they're not. Oh no. Yes, it's in steel. So there's the dagger, great sword, long sword, short sword. Now the dagger is super fat. I cannot honestly see myself using the dagger simply because of how fat it is. I'm going to make my wings go away here so we can take full so we can just take it in, you know. I appreciate it completely. And goodbye wings. So we can appreciate the true full beauty of the sword and its scabbard on my back. Or not, because clothes are in the way. That works too. No, it doesn't. Come on, still. Ooh, it looks really good though. Let's just strip down. Uh, it is going through my spine a little bit, but that's okay. It'll heal. I'll be fine. Everyone needs a little bit of sword through their spine to, you know, keep them awake and stuff. That's normal. So, just ignore the underwear. The scabbard, again, is 3K. Beautiful, beautiful texture. Kind of going with the same theme, I've noticed. And the greatsword is also very wide, but I think it is slightly skinnier than the sword. I think. Why'd I put it away? Yeah, it's slightly skinnier than the sword, I do believe. Now, I'm going to console command in the other weapons, and I just love the reflection that comes off of this. And the different layers of steel, it's very realistic. From the images I could see on the Nexus site, it did not seem that... I couldn't notice those. Fenrir, I think is how it's spelled. Yes, it is. Player dot add item, or I could place them. In. They both work. Four C zero 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 D six two. Uh, one. I only want one. Long sword. Oh, they actually the codes do change. That is interesting. Twelve C eight. What? Let's try that again. Well, there's only two zeros. No? Yes, there's only two zeros. I'm not a professional at this at all. C B instead of eight. And then C E. So now in theory I should have all the weapons. I do believe. Going to our here's the what the dagger looks like. Nice and small. This looks the most realistic to me personally. Like I think that would be what you would actually use this style of sword for, or style of blade it is. Would be the dagger. It seems to make the most sense and fits in more with Skyrim in the dagger form. That's just my opinion. The short sword. 
this short, appropriately named. My question is, does it reach any less distance than the long sword? We should be able to see. Uh, never mind. Let's attack something that has a more obvious effect when we hit it. Still hit it. Cannot hit it. Still can't. Still can't hit it. Taking tiny steps. Okay, now we can hit the wood. So if we go to the long sword here, we should be able to still hit the wood. What? Those are all missing. Does the short sword have a greater range than the long sword? No, that missed also. Okay, good. I was about to be really confused. That hit. Tiny back up. Still hits. This might not be very entertaining, but this is something that I've always wanted to test and see if mod creators have taken this into into their calculations. And it seems as if the only difference really is the damage. They can both reach the exact same amount from what I could see. Where is my armor? Nightingale armor, yes please. Can be a thief. So the long sword is definitely a lot larger. As to be expected. And sadly, it would seem that you can only have one at a time. Unless you cheat, because cheating's fun. <laughs> I might actually use this as my main build for my Let's Play character, possibly, except you'd have to cheat to get two of these weapons. But this is a really nice combo. I definitely appreciate this. Although, it would make more sense if you had the short sword in the other hand. A little bit less of a size difference. Oh yeah. And the attack speed is amazing. The long sword might actually swing slower. Of course, not with the dagger, but... Normal sword swing speed. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think the short sword, short sword, that's how it's spelled, not pronounced. I think the short sword swings faster, but with the dagger, it does not matter. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This has been the Fenrir Blades mod, and you might end up seeing this on the Let's Play because it is just beautiful. So I saw... Ah, oh, darn it. I'm not, it's not doing it, but on the Nexus it had a picture of the sword like mid-draw coming out of the sheath and I was wondering if I could do that. We shall see later. But until then, I'm gonna stick with this because this is just really great. You will probably be seeing this mod in future episodes. And I know it's a little bit of a shorter video, but it doesn't require much more time than this. And please subscribe if you like this and my other mod showcase videos. I've done a couple other weapon mods, a follower mod, and some player homes. Including this one that we're at right now with its beautiful view. Those birds are immortal, they can't die. But yeah. That's pretty much it. See you later guys. Bye. So I'm back and it may, well, it's been less than a second for you, but for me it's been a little bit. I realized that we did not kill anything with these swords and that is not okay at all. We cannot just avoid what do killing you want, things. Cat? People have to be decapitated. That's just how these weapons I'm go and ooh, they're pretty this. too. I kind of feel bad about murdering these bandits, but look at the beautiful swords. I'm also running yes. a mod that makes the Nightingale armor full HD and also darkens it a little bit. <laughs> These are all kill moves. That's beautiful. Yes. And the blood textures just look amazing on these swords also. I'm gonna find whoever did this. Good luck finding whoever did that. 
I have an HD blood texture mod also. So, it should look pretty good. Although, oh, now they're all mad. What have I done? Off, <laughs> off with your head. The great one-two knee-neck combination. That's feared across all the lands. I'm gonna much better be doing this. Hey, watch it. Need something? Yeah. Yeah. You need something. This is kind of surprising me how every attack is getting a kill move, and with the double impalement. But hey, we can't just have all the fun with these swords. Ooh, although I don't think the great sword will insta kill them, because I haven't upgraded it using the ring of a thousand truths. Crap. Nope. They live. But at least now we can go off the tower. Unupgraded sword. I'm at level 116, I do believe. Super speed. Well, that did not work. But we're bloody now. And I figured out. Well, not figured out, because I'm pretty sure this is already known to many, many, many people. But to make yes. the blood textures on a weapon go away, that? simply unequip it and re-equip it. So yeah. It's kind of a senseless killing, I know. Poor innocent bandits are just standing there hanging out. I need to stop hitting multiple at one time. Yeah. Need something. Need something. Be careful. Okay, I'll be careful. Mm. Hey, watch it. Oh, I'll try. Goodness. No promises, though. For some reason, they don't get mad when I do that. Something wrong? Do you have a sternum through your chest? Yeah. This guy must be really, really strong to hoist a full-grown orc off the ground like that. Jeez. Need These swords are so well done, though, that in my opinion, they don't blend in with the other textures and things in the game of Skyrim. And again, the knee-neck combination. Well, I'd say our work here is done. Jeez. Well... We'll just never speak of what happened here again. And now I fulfilled my promise of slaughtering innocent people. Oh, the dagger's not lighting up. There we go. Come on, I can't have both of them glowing at the same time. What is the meaning of this? Guess we'll just have to have the sword. So, on this extremely high res death, I say goodbye for realsies this time. But again, like if you enjoyed this video and the innocent slaughter, well, the slaughter of innocent people. There's no such thing as innocent slaughter. And really enjoy these swords. And also leave down in the comments if you downloaded the sword mod or not. So, again, for realsies, bye.